Hi, it's Placido. I'm a junior software engineer. Here I'm going to show you a project I worked on with two other people while we were students at the Flatiron Bootcamp for Software Engineering. So this is a database for the game League of Legends where there are over 100 unique characters called Champions to play. It's built on Ruby on Rails for the backend, and this is the first project where we were able to use React. Uh, just regular React, so no hooks or Redux. We're just passing the state as props to components. So I worked on the champions page. Uh, this is a page that lists all the champions of the game, and you can search through them to get their information. Uh, I wanted to make this search part as intuitive and effortless as possible. So ideally, you can already tell how it works just by looking at it, but I'm going to go through it with you. So you can see here, I can search for champion by its name. Then also I can sort them alphabetically and we can filter the champions as well. Varus is easy. <laughs> uh, what's also cool is every champion's card, you can hover over it and get a little stat summary for that champion. I uh, worked a long time on this. I wanted to make sure I got the look and the response that I wanted and uh, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. You can see that each champion has up to two roles. So if you try to select a third role, it'll just take off the first one that you picked. Now, if you click on a champion's card, it'll take you to that champion's specific page where you can get all its information, uh, including little YouTube videos for the champion spotlight. And also you can go through the skins and get the videos for each skin. Uh, I didn't work on the champion specific page as much. Uh, those are mostly done by a, another uh, team member. Uh, let's go back here. Uh, we made an initial fetch, uh, API fetch to get all the champion data and seeded a database. So we didn't have to refetch every time that we loaded the web app. And for some reason, the champions didn't come in alphabetical order. Uh, so that's why you need this filter. So this is what I worked on. Uh, there's also a login page where you can create an account. And once you log in, you can go here to the summoner search page. Uh, you can type in a summoner name if you, have, uh, if you play the game and you have an account. And it'll fetch live data from the League of Legends API and display your account information and history, uh, such as your match history, win-loss ratio, uh, and your rank, and other things. So that's it for the project. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next video.